And we also must acknowledge the bravery of Allied Security Guard Christian LaCour. Security guard news, we lost another security guard. This one happened during the recent Allen shooting in Texas. His name was Christian LaCour. And uh, we need to highlight this young man's heroism. So like, comment, subscribe, so, you know, share, talk about these stories, extract valuable knowledge from this. Train your guys, train yourself, and understand this could be you. The Allen's police chief highlighted the heroic actions of a security guard who was killed in the attack. He credited Christian LaCour with helping one person evacuate to safety and then staying on site to try to help others. Incredible. One of those people he helped may have been Irvin Walker. Walker was shot in the chest after dropping off his girlfriend at a store. He told his family a security guard came to his aid. And now we turn to Fox Sports' Stephen Dial live at Medical City McKinney with the story. Stephen. Irvin Walker was shot in the chest and shoulder Saturday and actually had to undergo a surgery yesterday here at Medical City McKinney. His lawyer says it's a miracle that he survived the shooting. It's going to be something that's going to be replayed in his mind for a very long time. Attorney Daryl Washington is talking about his client, 46-year-old Irvin Walker, shot in the parking lot of the Allen Premium Outlets while he was still in his vehicle. He had just dropped off his girlfriend at a store. Shortly after to letting her out, uh, you have this, this madman who uh, basically unloads into his vehicle. He's not knowing what's going on. You know, why is this person shooting at me? Walker told his family right after being shot he got out of the car. A security guard came over to help him. Irvin actually witnessed this guy get shot, so imagine having to deal with this. The thing is, we try not to, to talk about it, so just know the trauma that, that he's experienced, but this was a security guard that was checking on him and seeing what, what was wrong with him, and, and shortly after, uh, this guy gets shot. During a media briefing Tuesday, Allen's police chief heralded actions of security guard Christian LaCour right before his death. And we also must acknowledge the bravery of Allied security guard Christian LaCour, who evacuated one individual to safety and was shot while courageously remaining to help others. Walker's girlfriend told me she was on lockdown inside of a store during the shooting. She tried to call her boyfriend multiple times, but he never answered. Walker had a successful surgery Monday, but bullet fragments remain in his body. In the next part of this video, we're going to look into how people are grieving over his loss and you know how awesome of a young man he christian mccoy actually was it's important to put the humanity part behind security so you remember you're more than just a red account security guard you're a human being and uh, you're here to help people the victim side victim christian lacour's hometown the community there finding ways to honor him lacour is the security guard we've told you so much about he was killed while trying to save shoppers lives that day our Aaron Jones taking us all tonight to his hometown of Farmersville. Farmersville was Christian LaCour's hometown. His family has lived here for years. I mean, everybody from here is basically born and raised here. Everybody sticks together, helps each other out. The community heartbroken to learn Saturday during the mass shooting at the Allen Premium Outlets, he lost his life. Heroically, the security guard was trying to save others. You know, to have somebody from our town, it just really hits home. Christian was just a good, solid young man. He was a learner, very inquisitive asked very good penetrating questions and uh, he was a, a seeker of knowledge and understanding and he was uh, a really good young man um, and it's, it's a tragic loss to loo lose him at the age of 20. Mayor Brian Weebold says the community has been working to find ways to honor him. We had restaurants reach out to the family and start providing them food. CBTX the bank here we're opening an account for them for the family the hayloft also creating bows to put on light posts for his favorite colors were black and red so we did black and red bows we want the family to to get through this and none of us can imagine what they're going through and obviously our loss and our care for him uh, is far surpassed by that of his family. Everybody in Farmersville is just one big family and so I think just everybody sticking together coming together Together and just really remembering, helping the family, and you know, keeping the memory alive. All right, Mr. Lacour, you will be missed by your friends and your family. They raised a strong young man that's willing to do the right thing in an emergency situation. I haven't done this ever in my channel, but I'm going to do this starting now, whenever I get the chance. Mr. Christian Lacour, thank you for your service. You're in the shadow. We salute you.